In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to add an animated text or graphic overlay into your videos using Canva, iMovie, and Keynote. Here's an example of what I mean by animated text overlay. This is just to give you an idea of what's possible. The first thing you want to do is open Canva and pull up any YouTube template. The most important thing is that you can visualize the dimensions of the screen and the YouTube templates will give you that. So for this particular example, I'm going to be designing an Instagram subscription overlay into my video. So this is a pretty easy design. It is just my Instagram username and it is going to slide in from the left hand side of the screen up to the lower corner. And I set the background color to green, but you definitely don't need to do that because you're going to do the green screen effect in Keynote. I wanted to leave in the steps that I took to actually create the design in Canva just to show you how easy and fast it is. Um, I had an idea already of what I wanted to do. I wanted something very, very simple. I just wanted it to be my name and the name of my blog with a little bit of a nice font and the new Instagram icon. Once I decided what I wanted to do, it literally took me a couple of minutes to pull this together using Canva. It is just so easy and I wanted to really demonstrate how you can take a completely blank template and create a design that looks good and that you can use on your videos. You can do literally everything on here. You can do something very, very simple like I'm doing, or you can do something using a lot more graphics, a lot more design elements. There are so many different font choices you can see here. You can upload your own fonts. You can use the fonts that come integrated already into Canva. You have so many possibilities on what you can design. I think it can be a little bit intimidating as well when you start from a blank canvas and you don't necessarily need to do that. You can definitely use the templates that are already integrated into Canva, but this is also trying to show you that you don't need to be intimidated. You don't need to do anything super complicated or super fancy to make it look good. Now I'm just playing around with the different fonts. I'm lining it up. I'm adding in a little bit of different text. I'm also going to add in the Instagram icon and just get it exactly how I want it to look before I start downloading it and adding it into Keynote. Um, this step is really important because once you export it, you can't edit it in Keynote. You can just do the animation in Keynote. Now that I've got my design exactly how I want it, I go ahead and download it as a PNG with a transparent background. Your file should export pretty quickly. Once it does, just go ahead and close out of Canva and open up Keynote. In Keynote, you wanna open a blank presentation, delete the little text boxes that are already there and import the image that you just downloaded. So the very first thing I do after I import my image is I go ahead and set the color fill to green, turning this into a green screen. You'll see why that's important after once we import this back into iMovie. So the next steps are you want to drag your image to where you want it to end up after the animation. Next on the top right hand side of the screen, you want to go up to animate. Go ahead and click it and this is where you can choose your effects. So the build in is the way the animate or the graphic is going to appear. Any actions are going to happen while it's already on the screen and build out is how you get rid of the graphic on your screen. There are so many different effects that you can do. There are lots of different options. You just have to kind of go in and see exactly what you're looking for. You can do the sparkle, you can do the anvil, so many different things. For this, I just wanted to keep it nice and simple. I want to use the move in, which slides in from one of the sides. You can decide whether you want it to slide left to right or right to left. And then you click preview and you see what it's going to look like. You can also change how long it takes for the animation to happen. So you can speed it up or you can slow it down. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, except now this is for the build out. So how the graphic is going to leave the screen. I'm using the same effect, the move out, except instead of it going left to right, I'm doing right to left so that it exits the screen exactly how it came in. Now it's time to see what our animation looks like. Just hit the play button and it will give you a preview of your design sliding in and going back out. Once you're completely happy with your design, 
you want to export it. Now you want to make sure you choose the movie file format. This will allow you to maintain the animation and you won't just export it as a keynote file. Under the movie settings, you want to change the resolution to 1080p. You can change the timing, but I don't touch this because I am going to modify that directly in iMovie. Now just click next, give your animation a name and wait while Keynote exports it. Then you're ready to go into iMovie. We're now on the last step of the process and this is very easy. You're going to import the animation that you just created. Once you import it, you are just going to locate it in your little media viewer and drag it on top of the clip that you want your overlay to integrate into. Now, if you were to play your video, you'll see that it won't actually overlay the graphic into your clip. It will just cut away to the green screen. So there's just one more step we need to do to overlay it. You need to click on your green screen clip down in your timeline and then go up to the top of the menu and click the video overlay settings that will make this dialogue appear. You've got several options. You've got cutaway, green, blue screen, split screen, and picture in picture. Obviously you wanna do the green, blue screen. Click that and essentially what that does is it applies the graphic that is a part of this green screen on top of your clip so instead of cutting away it will overlap it and it will automatically get rid of the green and you'll just have your little animation i'm just going to drag my cursor over the green screen segment to preview the animation and you'll see that the logo came in and goes right back out just like it did in keynote and here is the final result of your animated graphic integrated as a green screen overlay into your iMovie video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If there are other topics that you'd like me to do a tutorial on, I'll be more than happy to. Just go ahead and put that in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.